Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jack and Lady Stanley Jackson, and this is great. This is something that my mother or my grandmother came up with. Depends on which one you ask. You have to have a Ouija board to ask my grandmother, but uh, <laughs> according to them, it's something they came up with, but I'm pretty sure that there's either hundreds or thousands of years of history of somebody already doing this that they just stumbled on it. So it's going to be great. I saw the pasta and this would be perfect for it, so we're gonna do this. Before we do, be sure to like, share, subscribe, till the YouTube stuff, ring the little bell, get notifications for when we do all this kind of stuff. And uh, oh yeah, check our link down in the doobly doo for our merch. It's awesome, and we're a small business. We really appreciate it. Shameless plug over. Let's get into the food. <laughs> yeah, oh, don't bend that way. <laughs> yeah, there, damn. All right, so very little stuff. First thing you're gonna need is any kind of pasta. Uh, I found these rose ones at a thrift store. Same perfect. You can use any kind of pasta for this. Uh, I'm using this ground sweet Italian sausage. But you can use hamburger, any kind of ground meat, or no meat at all. That's completely optional. Uh, here's the trick. You're going to get some red meat sauce and some Alfredo sauce, and you're going to use half and half, right? Uh, I think they just came about his mom only had half and was trying to stretch it for the rest of us, and it ended up working out really well. Now, the, that's all you need for this, but this next part is optional. Uh, you can use some Italian seasoning and some oregano. Uh, or oregano for here in the states uh, you can use those those really help out uh, some garlic powder and onion powder because eh, it's that's a flavor I like it works well with both of those but you don't necessarily have to have them there in both of these already uh, pepper fresh pepper uh, fine ground black pepper whatever's great uh, you won't need uh, let me reach get it, get it. Yeah. all right salt you really won't need a lot of salt for this uh, but pepper I, I like because it just adds that little bit of spice in First things first, get your pot, get it about three quarters of the way full, turn it up pretty high because you want this to boil pretty quick, so not all the way high, you might scorch something. Then get you another skillet. I got this kind of tall pot with a handle skillet thing going on it because I'm just going to do it all in one pot. Uh, put that put that one at about medium, medium high. All right, water high, this one medium, okay? We're just going to go ahead and just straight cook the meat in here, and then we'll add all our sauces and stuff to it. So go ahead and pull that out. Uh, I think that was about a pound, pound and a half. Doesn't have to be that much. You can usually get like hamburger stuff for like a, uh, one pound. But go ahead and break this up, let it get down here and cool. You don't have to add any oil or any butter or anything because the, the sausage itself is going to be oily enough. If there's too much oil, you got to drain it. Number one tip is to chop this up. Make sure you get all the meat on the metal. Put all the pink side down. Uh, it's going to take a little while. Keep an eye on your water. Let it start boiling. Once it's got a good boil, then we're going to add our pasta and start getting bubbles. Pasta time. Now, this bag, I think I used about half of it uh, just because it's just going to be me. <laughs> and I don't want to overfill it. So I think I actually used like three quarters of it. I'll use the rest of it for a pasta salad later. Uh, so go ahead. Just keep turning your meat until it's brown. It takes about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, you want to do it low and slow. You don't want to scorch it and overcook it on one side. Keep giving it a stir. Now keep an eye on that grease at the bottom. If it's too much down in there, just go ahead and strain it and drain it over your sink. Uh, but you shouldn't have to, like unless you get really, really cheap stuff. Be sure to keep stirring your pasta every now and then. Just get you a nice spatula or flipper. Just give it a nice stir every now and then. Make sure it's not sitting on the bottom. Now, your meat, once it's nice and browned all over, you can't see any pink when you flip through it. We're going to go ahead and add our sauces and stuff to it, okay? Uh, you get your red sauce, white sauce, it doesn't really matter which order you go into, this just have to be the closest one. Put about half of it in there. All right, uh, the other half we're going to use on some other stuff, so just keep it handy. Uh, the Alfredo stuff I actually used on a fish dish later, and I'll show you how to do that. But again, half of each of those, put them in there, and then just give them a nice toss, a nice stir with all your meats in there. Now, the meat is cooked at this point. It's fully cooked. So you might want to take it and turn it down a little bit. I'm going to tell you two here in a minute when I remember. But once you get a nice stir, you just want to set it down and let it simmer in this meat. Uh, might have been a little uh, grease still in the pan. It's going to show up a little bit, make it shiny. Just say it's artistic inflection. Go, Yeah, there it is. Go ahead and turn it all the way down to a simmer. Just let it simmer in that sauce. It's going to soak in all that meat, and it's going to make it outstanding. It's pretty much the equivalent of having a lot of extra cheese on your regular spaghetti stuff. So that's what you're making. So here's the chance to go ahead and mix in whatever seasonings. Uh... I never trust the little shaker top, so just shake it in there until your ancestors reach out and grab you by the wrist and say, that's enough. Uh, just a pinch here or there. Again, it's all just the taste. Uh, more pepper than most people would ever add. Uh, onion powder and garlic powder, just because, hey, I like that taste. So I go ahead and put those in there. Uh, I don't do salts at all. My uh, Italian seasoning I do like, but it can over 
season, so be, be very, very cautious when you're pouring that stuff in there. Get you, again, your nice flipper, your nice spoon, and go ahead and just stir it all in there and let it keep simmering. Uh, you want to give it about 10 minutes total simmer time at the most, or at least until your pasta is done. Uh, the meat's going to keep it hot, the skillet, or the skillet or the pot you're going to have it in, it's going to keep it warm, so it's going to keep cooking once you're done. Check your pasta once it's nice and squishy, not hard on the inside. Kill the heat, and we're going to go ahead and strain and drain this. Now, don't rinse it, okay? Make sure to get as much water out of it as possible, but try not to, don't rinse it. Leave it nice and hot, especially if you're using these little rose ones. you got to make sure to get the water out of it. Any kind of thing that has a hole in it, like penne or, you know, like the old school, like rigatoni stuff will hold water. So be sure to get all the water out of there nice and dumped out. Uh, give it a nice, soft stir. Remember, your pasta's cooked now, so you don't want to be vigorous with it. It'll pull that pasta apart and tear it. Uh, you can use it separately if you're trying to spread it out and make it go a little further, but I just, I've always just stirred it right in. And that's it. This is a meal ready to go. This was enough with three quarters of the pasta bag and only one bottle total because you used half of each. This was enough for at least three meals for me or it'd be at least four for somebody else if you're not adding something else on the side, like a cheap salad or a breadstick or something. But this is amazing. Uh, my mother always called it rose pasta because it turned it like a pink color in her stuff because she used burger. Uh, <laughs> but when I saw these pasta things, it looked perfect. Don't have to have the pasta stuff. Again, use any kind of pasta. But this is amazing. You should try it. It's well under our budget and feeds so much. And you can use it for meal prep during the week, which is pretty good. And there you have it, folks. That's amazing. That's some good pasta. You don't have to use the fancy pasta that I found. You can use anything you want. But if you do it differently, you want to see us do it differently, you want to show me how to make either one of those pasta sauces out of scratch, where I don't use the jar stuff, and you can keep it under a budget, let me know. Put it down in the comments. That's what they're there for. Or you can find us on social media. You can find us at Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon. You can find us at all those at Living Between Paychecks Kitchen. Or you can also find us on Instagram at Living Between. We had to shorten it down over there. And you can also find me over on Instagram under my name. That's Oz Way Nerdy. You can also find me on all the other ones under that name, too. But you can find me over there. And I've been doing some smaller videos over there that's either previews of this, shorter versions of the stuff we cook here, or some exclusive stuff that I just didn't want to do two minute videos for for YouTube, so I put them there. Eh, go figure. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to go eat some of this pasta. Zul gets her cut. She absolutely loves this stuff. This is great. I'll catch y'all next time.